is running against Daryl Issa. <laughs> In the 49th congressional seat, he is also 100% pro-choice rated, and his name is Jerry Tiedelman. Thank you. I'm running against Daryl Issa. Daryl Issa is the one that held the contraception hearings with no women present, just male religious leaders. He's the one that wouldn't allow Sandra Fluke to testify. <laughs> He's a poster child for the war on women, the Republican war on women. We need to push back. We need to take a stand. That's why we're here. How do we take a stand? We take a stand by taking Daryl Issa out of office, by changing the election. That's how we take a stand. We are at a critical moment in history. The election of President Obama is, is, uh, it says miles about women's rights. We have to support it. We have to win this election. Uh, the Supreme Court is at stake. Roe versus Wade is at stake. Uh, the war on women, they're taking state by state by state. They're working away at women's rights by saying, oh, you have to have an ultrasound. You have to do this, do that. We have to push back. We say, we're going to take a stand. We're going to elect officials. They're going to fight for women's rights. They're going to fight for health care as a human right. And we need to do that today. You know, the First Amendment to the Constitution says there'll be a separation of church and state, that the government shall make no religion. This war on women, what is it about? It's about people trying to interject their religion into the public sphere. I believe that women have the right to make a decision between them and their doctor, that government has no place between a woman and her doctor. That was a longtime political activist. I know that a political activist, it's a two two-step process. The first process is you educate yourself. You learn about the issues. You make a decision. Not just have an opinion, but you say, I'm going to take a stand. But there's a second step, and that second step is you have to open your mouth. You have to speak out. You have to get onto Facebook or Twitter or speak whatever you can do. We all have more power now than any time in history. The media is no longer just coming at us. It's a two-way street, and we need to exercise our power. Yeah. <laughs> We have a very short window. The election is coming up, and it's a critical time. I'm running in a district uh, where Daryl Issa is a long time incumbent. The odds are against me, but it is possible with grassroots efforts, working precincts, going door to door, uh, making phone calls, that we can change this election. And that's really, if you haven't made phone calls, if you haven't knocked on doors, you haven't worked in politics. So please, get out there, support me, support uh, Jared Tettleman, support President Obama, support all our Democratic candidates here, and let's take back the Congress, and let's make this a great year. Thank you.